Hey, it's come to my attention that my mic is crapping out, so until I get paid on the first, there's not really a whole lot I can do about that. However, uh, I did get some good feedback from you guys from the last fundraiser video, and uh, someone posted a bunch of parts that I could use that would be uh, pretty close to the price that they were charging me for that other CPU, but I would have everything. Now, I've decided to not get the SSD because despite how much of a good idea it would be, I know they're great for gaming. Uh, this is pretty much just going to kill my gaming budget. My channel budget's going to be just dead completely. Uh, I'm going to need all the help I can get, but it looks like I will be able to pay the first installment on the 10th. So at that point, uh, I assume beforehand, uh, they will order the parts, and then they'll come to the house and pick it up and install everything. Uh, I will have to pay them for the delivery, you know, the pickup, and then the, uh, you know, the initial payment. So about $200, which... I should be able to do myself, but it's still going to be tight. Uh, I, I really hate to do this, but I am going to have to ask for help, unfortunately. Uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to get anything new for the channel at all while I'm paying for this. So I hope you guys will understand. Uh, you know, If I'm not able to get support, if my friends aren't able to help me or the family or you guys, or it's probably going to take a combination of all three given how low my income is. Uh, let me go ahead and look at what I'd be getting. A new motherboard, uh, an i7 8700, uh, 16 gigs DDR4 RAM, a GTX 1060, and uh, then the rest would just be the labor and installation fees. Uh, I know some people have called me out on the labor and installation fees, but I don't have any skill doing this stuff, uh, you know, especially if I'm going to be asking for donations to do this, which I certainly am. Uh, I really don't want to screw anything up, and they've done a good job in the past. Uh, they have diagnosed uh, problems with my PC that... I didn't even know were issues in the first place. Uh, they've helped me out numerous times in the past, so I think this is the best course of action. Uh, I know that I am paying more than I would be if I was able to install everything myself and I was able to just use a credit card or something, but I don't really think it's in my best interest to get a cre credit card given how I barely make it through the month doing this as it is. So uh, that's the current plan. Uh, on the 10th, uh, I'm going to try to get them to order everything before then, and then on the 10th, uh, I will pay... I use pretty much all my ad revenue and most of my Patreon whenever I have left after I pay for whatever games I'm going to be doing next month, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I should be all ready for Warriors Orochi 4 and uh, you know future DMC5, whatever else comes out. Really, I could probably go without the the 1060, but I think it's better to just get it now because in the event that Warriors Orochi 4 is not a good port, then I should be able to brute force it. Uh, I saw a lot of people saying that they had no problems running Dynasty Warriors 9 with a 1060, so if they're able to run that game with a, with a pretty similar build, then I think things will be okay. Uh, the CPU especially is going to be great because, uh, as I said before, Musou games are very CPU heavy, and if you don't have a good CPU, that's like the number one cause for the performance issues. And uh, the CPU usage in the uh, the Koei ports is like really bad to begin with so hopefully this will just boot force it uh, when I do when or if I do go through with this uh, I'll probably do some tests with Dynasty Warriors 9 even though I I'm pretty much done with that game I'll check out the uh, the DLC uh, later this week I believe it's gonna like drop tomorrow I'm not particularly excited for it but I'll probably try it out uh, when I have this new build and uh, that'll be a good gauge for what to expect for Warriors Orochi 4 so uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do the fundraiser. Uh, if you want to request a video or something, that I'm more than happy to do that. Uh, basically, I'm going to have about four to five months to pay this off. They will probably give me some leeway, but I'd rather get it done sooner than later. So if I can get any support to kind of lighten the load here, then uh, that'll make it easier for me to afford new games and stuff. Because basically, my entire gaming budget, which is pretty much everything... I'm getting from the channel, you know, from Patreon and ad revenue is, is going to go towards this. So in the event that this does happen and I'm not able to get support from some source, be it you guys, my family, or my friends, or a combination of those three, then uh, I'm really not going to have much money to do anything. So I hope you guys will, will understand. Uh, I did get a hold of Nicholas's PR email, and I asked them to uh, give me a press key or a review key for Code of Princess EX. So... Hopefully I will hear back from them tomorrow. Uh, I didn't send the email until about 4 o'clock tonight. So, uh, you know, it's, they're in California like I am, so they probably leave the office at 5. So hopefully in the morning or by the end of the week uh, I'll have a response for that. Uh, otherwise, I'll probably just buy it 
Maybe I'll trade something in for it, and then I'll try to get uh, what's it called, the Mega Man X Legacy Collection as well. So, like I said, uh, I'm sorry the mic is dying. There's nothing I can do about that right now. I don't have funds for it. Uh, I'll try to get this uh, all squared away by the middle of next month. So, if you can help me, uh, anything would help at this point. I should be able to get the first installment, but anything past that is going to really, really strain my gaming budget. So, any help would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, thanks to everyone for understanding. I'm glad people were able to help me get a better build. Uh, I'll worry about the uh, the SSD later. Uh, I haven't actually told them to order the parts, so I may end up just doing the uh, the CPU, the motherboard, and the RAM, and that would cut about $300 out of it, and uh, that would be a lot more feasible for me to do. So we'll see what happens. If you have any other advice, go ahead and let me know. Thanks for watching. Peace.